Uh, yeah, I might. I, Yeah, it sure it is. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Have a good night. You have a good night too. Thank you. I could use that. Not such a bad job having uh, supermodels run up and give you $20 bills. I could have taken her. I could have pointed the camera at her, but I don't have permission to do that. Suffice it to say that she's like <laughs> Very good looking and a nice truck and she gave me a 20 could be worse. I guess um, Where was I okay? Oh, yeah <laughs> kind of got distracted there um, I've been working really hard on this YouTube channel since it's become a reality not just something I was thinking about doing I wasn't just thinking about it I've been recording myself and what I was doing for over a decade well over a decade I've got hundreds of hours of videos of me doing all kinds of different stuff uh, begging on the streets and stealth camping traveling cross-country by bike or Amtrak with a bike when I get to town to use the bike to travel around town um, I've trained for and I'm not going to say competed in I'm more like I participated in several running events because I was no competition trust me I run slow I finished the Tucson Marathon in 2011 in four hours 32 minutes and 25 seconds which is kind of slow but I got a little medal and I you can log on to the Tucson Marathon website 2011 and you'll see me much more handsome and a little bit better shape than I am now crossing the finish line at that race I tried the Havilene 100 in 2016 in DNF but you can log on to that website and see Bike Jeff Dark Horse I called myself crossing the finish line three times and getting credit for 62 miles which really pissed me off because the race director told me Jeff um don't go for the 100 miles. It's, it's your first ultra. Go for the 100 kilometers. And I didn't listen to him because I was like, nah, man, the 100 kilometers, 100 miles got more prestige. And I'd finished a 75 mile training run in like 24 hours. And if I could have finished that 100 miles in 30, I would have gotten a belt, a 100 mile finishing belt buckle, you know? And it really pisses me off because I did 62 miles and that's 100 kilometers. And if I did listen to him, I'd have a belt buckle right now. I wouldn't have DNF'd. I would have finished that distance. I did finish that distance, but I wasn't signed up for the 100 kilometers. And what really pisses me off is that the year before, they would let you transfer. If you were signed up for the 100 mile race, but you didn't do it, but you finished over 62, they'd give you a 100 kilometer belt buckle. But they changed the rules because the somebody complained about it so that's not fair uh you're whatever you're signed up for you need to finish that or you're a dnf and so snivelers got the rules changed where you couldn't do that uh my point is is i'm according to a lot of people's uh, uh way of looking at things i'm not following the suggestions to have a successful youtube channel but i think i am I am sticking on the subject because the subject of my uh, channel is Bite Jeff. What I'm doing, that's just what makes it interesting, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. I'm about to do a, a, a bicycle tour. It's not for pleasure. I don't, I don't really like bicycles. I do. I like bicycle touring. Yeah, I like the freedom. How many miles per hamburger? Not that I'm, it's hamburger, but how many miles can you get on the, a meal? I don't need a driver's license. I don't need a uh, registration. I don't need insurance. I don't need a helmet. I don't need permission from the government. And I don't need gas. You know, it's freedom. And it, it, I'm, a, I'm a hobo. There's a difference. There's home bums and there's hobos. I'm a hobo. I'm a bike bum. And 
me staying in one place for it, it blows my self esteem. But it starts bothering me if I'm at a place begging too long. People just see me day after day after day, and it just keeps on going. Uh, I got to get out of there and air the place out. And the money dries up. It's like death to just stay in one place all the time. For me, at least, it's just not. It blows my mojo. But while I was thinking deep thoughts on the subject, I realized you're doing this because you kind of want to be famous. And I realized I'm already famous. Okay? You might not know exactly who I am, but I've had 50,000 people run up to me or call me over and give me money. And I've had 10 times, no, 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 100 times that many that sat there with varying levels of steam coming out of their ears or whatever the thoughts in their mind about me they were thinking about me okay they were thinking about me pitying me or uh, holding me in contempt or uh, really pissed off of the people that get pissed off watching what I do I've got one thing to say to you if I'm the worst thing that happens to you that day count yourself as lucky Oh, God, I had to sit there and stare at an eyesore. Balling my eyes out for you, buddy. Yeah, and I've held a foot-long beard with the bicycle with the bags and the bright-colored sign that says help, and I'm the only one that I've ever seen hold that sign. I know people have stolen it from me. Eventually, I'll see somebody holding that sign because I've seen other bums go, Ooh, that's kind of cool. Coroplast, uh plastic is durable you can keep it clean it's not nasty like a piece of ratty cardboard you can actually read it huh it's simple it's not somebody's life story that nobody can read anyway hmm. i'll steal that idea it's only a matter of time my american distress card <laughs> don't be homeless without it yeah i'm already famous I don't care what people think about me, man. Just as long as they're thinking about me. Because there's no such thing as bad publicity. And this, I'm going to up my game. This is going to up my game, you know? I, I've got a lot of tricks up my sleeve. I'm not going to show all of them, but I'm going to show some of them to make my content interesting. And then I'm going to assure people that if you think I'm giving my game away where you can use it to, like, get at me, You'll see what I'm talking about later, but understand that <laughs> that ain't the only thing that I'm not, you know, I've had like people that have hit the streets and run up against me or, you know, encountered me and maybe I felt sorry for them or whatever. I took them under my wing and whatever, schooled them and, you know, and then they started getting cocky or whatever with me and I, huh, I don't need you anymore. Well, you never did need me or maybe you didn't, did or didn't, but, you know, they're like, uh, thinking they wrung me dry or something, you know, and I'm like, dude, I taught you everything you know. I didn't teach you everything I know, and I'm going to maintain that ethic. Uh, yeah, I'm already famous. I go into, like, a coffee shop, like the coffee shop I'm sitting at right now, and the people in the coffee shop are going to recognize me. These coffee shops, you know where I'm at, right? I don't, I don't know. I'm hesitant to sit there and advertise people. I don't know. Maybe they won't appreciate it, you know? I'm not exactly the public image they want to portray. Although these guys, it really is. I've met the owner of this company. You know where I'm sitting, right? The owner of this company... Bought me a cup of coffee at the corporate headquarters in Seattle. I didn't know who the hell he was. He was looking at, it wasn't this bike, it was another one. But he was asking me questions about it. He was in the line in front of me. Is that your bike outside? He knew it was. Well, yeah, where are you going? I just came from uh, San Jose. I'm thinking about going to Chicago. I was in Seattle. I was going to go to Everett and go across. I didn't want to, but I hate turning around and going back the other direction. I can't stand that. I'd gone, I was retry, re retrace my steps. Uh -uh. And uh, he was just like, Wow. And when I got up to the line, the people were like, oh, uh, our boss bought you a cup of coffee. Who's that? The guy that was in front of you. I'm like, oh, he's the manager of this place. And he's like, no, no. 
<laughs> he owns the company, dude. I'm like, really? This is a pretty big company. Wow. And my drop, I don't drop the names, but everybody knows who I'm talking about. That's what I mean. You know? I go into these coffee shops. Hey, Jeff. All the time. I don't know if... They, you know, I kind of like it. You like being recognized. I could be quite charming, you know? I could be a pretty mean, too. No, no, I'm not. I don't want to be mean. I'm a nice guy. But people just... They don't want to... They don't want to let you be a nice guy. You, get, you, you pick up some game out here as far as... You won't survive. I'm 57 years old, and I wouldn't have made it without having some game in the self-defense department, okay? The hand-to-hand the -hand combat. Or... Sometimes not hand-to-hand -hand combat. I'll show you. You'll see the stuff. I, I'll show you. I'm not going to have to just sit here and talk and yak and yak and yak. It's going to be some action. Trust me.